I'm Stephen Janiszewski. Welcome to Book Talk. Today my guest is writer James Reich. How are you, James? Good morning, Stephen. Um, it's terribly early, but you look you look fantastic. I was not um, I wasn't led to expect that. You look magnificent. Me. <laughs> Trazodone. Would you like some tea? I would. I would love some tea. I have never been known to refuse a cup of tea. So I don't have any. You. You don't have any. Mm -mm. Oh. Well, fortunately, my, my country of birth dictates that I come prepared. I always have tea. You play music. I've been accused of playing music. This has happened to me, yes. Do you like playing music? Do I like it? Uh, yeah, no, no, I, I don't. It's a terribly frustrating enterprise, uh, broken only by brief moments of pleasure. Um, those are those are quite reasonable, but in general, it's it's, uh, it's a little soul destroying. Are you familiar with Herbie? The anthropomorphic Volkswagen Beetle? Herbie. Yes. Um, Herbie was Walt Disney's attempt to rehabilitate Hitler's car, the Volkswagen. So in Herbie, if I'm correct, uh, we have the red, white, and blue Jewish wonder car. Um, that's who we're talking about, right? He's pretty cool. Well, I mean, as, as talking cars go, Herbie is relatively benign, but I, I don't know if I'd go as far as to say that any talking car is particularly cool. Would, would you? When the world and I were young Just yesterday You are also a writer. I'm, I am a writer, yes. Who are some of your influences? Uh, my influences, I think, off the top of my head, alphabetically, I would say Kathy Acker, J.G. Ballard, William Burroughs, Binge Drinking, Arthur Cravan, John Thomas, to name a few. What are you currently working on? I am working on a new novel, uh, which I hope to submit to my agent relatively soon. Is it good? Is it good? Ugh, that's not for me to judge, I'm sure, but... Uh, I suspect, as Norman Mailer would say, it will bring about a revolution in the consciousness of our times. Do you like it? Do I like it? Uh, I think it's... I think it will be good. I think you'll like it, eventually. <laughs> Do you prefer a computer? A legal pad? Or a cocktail napkin. I think I think cocktail napkin. I prefer to be brief. Do you have any? Uh -uh. We could we could collaborate. You'll get some as a parting gift. Oh. Thanks, Steve. Stephen. Stephen, yes. 
Would you have lunch with me? I would love to have lunch with you. Uh, you have already noticed that I am a writer, so I suspect you may be forced to pick up the tab, if that's okay. My mother just gave me my allowance. Tell us about I, Judas. I, Judas is a contrarian New Testament. It's my attempt to um, eradicate the notion of Judas as the archetype of suicide and all the damaging uh, effects of that notion on the contemporary scene. Um, I would like to put to bed any notion that we need to orient ourselves around such a specious, hollow and fictional character. Um, that said, uh, I think the Judas in my book is, is a, a pretty engaging fellow. Is it good? It's, it's, it's very good, I think. Um, it will bring about a revolution in the consciousness of our time, I'm sure. So, are you? Um, am I... Are you Judas? Am I Judas? Yeah. <sighs> um, I, uh, probably so. Uh, I think people would say that, which is it's a little sad. I haven't read it. Roscoe has it, though. Well, I don't think that you should read it, Stephen. I don't think you'll like it. It's, it's a little bleak. Uh, there's a lot of sex and violence in it. I don't, I don't really think it's your kind of thing. But it could be Roscoe's. Yeah, let Roscoe read it. I'm thinking tacos. I'm not thinking tacos. We're out of time. Great. I'm, I'm glad it's becoming a burden, uh, but it was a pleasure talk, talking to you for a, for a short while. Thank you, James Reich. Uh, and thank you. Uh, it's been it's been fascinating. I don't imagine we'll ever go for lunch, but um, but I, I appreciate the offer. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Book Talk.